And the next question, did you have any, did you have to do any research when writing the book, for example, like to find out how like, how people went certain distances in like reasonable amount of time, like how long that would take them to walk and stuff like that, like technical yeah. uh, things, like how did you go about research or like just things about like how like the physics of the world works or like possibly or like other things? Yeah, well, I, I knew that I, I was working with a fantasy world and the world is slightly smaller than Earth. And it has two moons, and yeah. there's all these different different things that's going to affect like the tides and and how quickly you're going to go from one place to another. Um, but um, that's something that's very freeing about fantasy is that if if you do end up getting something wrong, you could just say it's fantasy. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I tried my best to understand uh, the science of how like things within work. the actual world you created, I guess. Yeah, so, within yeah. within the world, I I, I have um, uh, later in the book and sort of the. In the, in the four fifths of the way through, there's sort of this volcano. I was going to have this volcano scene, and um, I re after I researched vol volcanoes, I realized you, you cannot get anywhere near lava, otherwise your skin will start to boil. So, yeah. so I was like, hmm. And that's something that actually changed how I wrote the story. I, I was like, I wanted to. So like in the first draft, it was like they were close to the lava, and then like I, I did not get that far. I hadn't gotten that far. In the first draft, I had gotten sort of halfway through, and this was yeah. just beyond the point where I went back and rewrote. Yeah. But. Um, I, I I did I was doing my research at the time and I and I decided okay I'm going to I'm going to change this into sort yeah. of like the fossil of a volcano and that it, makes sense and it got converted into this big stronghold that were all these uh, sort of uh, like like kind of like a castle but in the husk of a of, yeah. a, of a fossilized volcano that was called Titan's Maw yeah and I noticed there's orcs in the story mm -hmm. so like that's like uh, that's kind of like a generic fantasy like yeah uh, uh, sort of uh, popularized by yeah. Tolkien yeah but um, e even he sort of lifted it from uh, from old folklore yeah um, but yeah yeah orcs are something I, I'm, I'm really into yeah that's cool and I think they're good I don't blame you yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're good henchmen they're, yeah they're uh, they're good good opponents